Hey, how's everybody doing today? So today I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror your Samsung Galaxy phone using the Roku streaming stick. Okay, basically you just plug this and base your HDMI and this one here actually comes with a remote. Now I'm going to show you how to screen mirror on several different Galaxy phones like the S4, uh, the S5, the Note 5, the Note 7. Uh, so let me show you this first. First thing you want to do is go into your Roku and you want to go down to your settings click on settings and then you want to go down to system and you want to make sure that it is uh, up to date okay so once you're at system here then you want to go down to system update and then you can just click on check now you can see I have uh, version 7.50 7.50 so let me go ahead and go back here and now what we're going to do is we're just going to go down and make sure that the um, screen mirroring is enabled. So let me scroll down here. Let me go to system. And now let me scroll down and go to screen mirroring right here. And you can see that I have it enabled up here. It is enabled. Okay. So now from here, the only thing I have to do is basically for example here let me show you how to do it on the uh this is samsung galaxy this is a uh s4 here and simply what you do is of course you have to make sure you're on the same wi-fi so we're going to scroll down here to the notifications and then we're going to click on here and we're going to go for screen mirroring and you can see screen mirroring right here let me tap on that there's my roku 3 i'm looking for my streaming stick okay it's already connecting to my streaming stick and give it a second and you can see this as s4 down here as well this will uh, go away shortly but here's my s4 let me go ahead and uh, get out of this and let's go ahead and grab another phone here let me grab my um, let me grab my s6 here here's my samsung galaxy s6 it's a little bit different to navigate to this one but you want to just scroll down then you want to click on this little down arrow right here and instead of screen mirror they call it smart view now so tap on smart view and then there's roku 3 i'm looking for my stream here it is my roku stick right here let me tap on that give that a second and let me just show you how to connect with some of these phones and then i'll show you um we'll do some browsing and i'll play a game and i'll show you some videos and photos as well so it's connecting right now and you can see it says my Galaxy S6 here and from here we are in business. Now let me go ahead and disconnect from here. Just go back down here, take off Smart View, just like that. And let's go ahead and look at, let's go ahead and grab my uh, Note 5. And the Note 5 to basically enable the screen mirroring, it's the uh, same way as you do like the uh, the S6, the S7, even the uh, the Note 7, if you still have that phone. So here's my Note 5. Let me go ahead and scroll down. Let me click on this little down arrow right there. And we're going to look for Smart View instead of Screen Mirroring. There's Smart View. And my streaming stick should be, okay, it's already connecting to my Roku stick here. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and use this phone to show you what you can do here, okay? So it says Note 5 here. This uh, sign down here will go away just like that. And let's do this. Let's go ahead and go into, let's just open up a browser here. Here's a browser here. You can turn it into landscape mode just like this. Let's go into my gallery here. I'll show you some photos and videos. Uh, let me go back here. Okay, you can see my gallery here. Let me just click on the video first. Here's a video. Uh, there's no sound on this one. Let me go to one where there's actually sound. The sound actually will come out directly from the uh, the TV. Here's a video. All right, so I am recording in 1080p HD at 60 frames per second on my Samsung. So that volume is coming directly out from my TV. Let me uh, go back here. I'll show you a photo here. Uh, let's see here. There's a photo here. Go ahead and turn this over into landscape. And I'll go ahead and zoom in here. So you can see. Let's go all the way in. 
just like that. And let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and just open up. I mean, here's here's a YouTube video. Let's press play. Raise the volume. So of course, if you buy. Okay. So, anyways, let me go ahead and show you some examples we could do on here. You could like record your games. Um, pretty much anything that's on your screen. So, for example. And again, the volume is coming directly out of my TV. Now, let's go ahead and just play a game. Uh, let's go ahead and just. I'll just use this traffic rider here. Raise the volume. Now the only thing is with games, like because you're connected through like Wi-Fi, it's not really a direct connection. If it's super graphic intensive, the game, then I wouldn't advise doing it because you will see like lag. Even when I'm playing this, you do see like a little tiny bit of lag. But I'm still able to play this game uh, fairly well. I'm basically looking at my TV right now. And you can hear the sound too. The sound, of course, is coming directly from my uh, my TV as well. Let me move over here like that. So there you go. Pretty much got that. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, just comment below. If you guys want to know how to screen mirroring these other devices, uh, just look on my channel or the link below. I have how to screen mirror using Android phones or Galaxy phones with like Chromecasts. You can even use another device called ScreenBeam Mini 2. They all have pros and cons, you know, like for example, the Roku and the uh, the Chromecast, you need a Wi-Fi, you need a Wi-Fi network in order to connect. But if you use like the ScreenBeam Mini 2, you do not need no Wi-Fi uh, network. You can connect directly, directly from your phone to the uh, ScreenBeam Mini 2, which hooks up in the back of your um, your TV and of course you can use mobile data with this as well if you need internet if you want to watch like Netflix and stuff like that So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye